Now that you have a sense of what it takes to make a good-looking, user-friendly app, let's talk about how you'll need to describe the layout of what your users see when they launch your app. Android layouts are constructed using a language called XML. XML is different from Java in that it is not a programming language. It is a markup language, meaning that instead of being used to manage data and functionality, it is used to format and arrange images and text, or to add notes to documents that can later be interpreted by a machine. XML is found throughout the Android operating system, and you'll use it many times after this unit. But in the next few chapters, you're going to use XML to make engaging and enjoyable screen layouts for your users. So let's take a look at how XML works overall. Right now, you're looking at two images that represent the same thing. On the left, we have the XML, the code that describes what the user will see. And on the right, we have a preview of the app when this particular layout on the left is visible. Now the thing to know about XML is that everything you see on the screen is somehow represented in a block of XML code. These blocks are bookended by what we call tags. To find an XML tag, you need to look for a specific syntax. Instead of braces, now you're going to look for angle brackets. You can see them here, here, even here. You'll also want to look out for a front slash, like this one down here. Android XML uses two different types of tags to describe its blocks of code. The first is for nested blocks. If a block is going to contain other blocks, it's going to look like this. Notice that the relative layout starts with an angle bracket, and then its name followed by a bunch of code. Then a closing angle bracket. But that's not the whole block. In fact, this block of code that starts up here on line 3 doesn't actually end until this line all the way down here, line 208. This block ends with another tag. This tag starts with an angle bracket, and then there's a front slash, and then the name relative layout repeated, and a closing angle bracket. This is the format for blocks of XML that will house other nested blocks of XML. There's another format that you will use for blocks of XML that don't have anything nested within them. And that's the one you see here, called image view. Notice that this one has the same opening tag as the relative layout block above. In fact, they even have the same Pascal casing. But its closing tag does not contain a repetition of its name it actually just has a front slash and then a closing angle bracket. So those are the two types of tags we'll see. The tags used for blocks that nest other blocks that open like this and close like this and the tags that stand as individual blocks and open like this and close like this. Everything else you see here are just descriptions of how to get the images and the text on the screen to look the way you want them to. So let's see if you can deduce what blocks of XML on the left are describing what particular parts of the layout on the right. So can you identify the outermost block of the XML? That's right. It's the relative layout we were just looking at. Can you see where that is on the preview on the right? It's here. It's the whole screen. In other words, the layout we're using to contain all the elements on the screen is a relative layout, and it's defined between line 3 and line 208. Now, moving from the outermost layout to one level in, how many blocks are nested one level deep in this relative layout? The answer is 3. Again, you're going to want to use the indentation to help you. You can see that we have an image view, another relative layout, and a linear layout, each of which is indented one level within this master relative layout. So let's see where each of these nested elements is in the preview on the right. Let's start with the image view. Well, it's the background image. How about that relative layout? 
Well, you can see it contains a button and some text views. So hopefully you can guess that it's right here. And what about that linear layout down there? Well, what's left? There's that green section below the relative layout. And yes, that turns out to be what this linear layout is describing. Now, inside these nested layouts, you'll notice there are some nested XML blocks. I've minimized some of them, but you can probably guess from their names what they refer to. Let's take this text view. You can see the text leaving Austin to Los Angeles. So that's clearly this section here. Then you have two text views and a button. Well, those are clearly here, here, and here. Now, nested inside the bottom linear layout are two more linear layouts. Using what you've learned so far about XML and any inferences you can make about what a linear layout might be, can you guess where those are in the preview? Pause the video now if you want some time to consider. Okay, those bottom two nested linear layouts are actually here and here. They will also contain the tags for their nested elements. Those elements would be the images for the arrows in the newspaper and the text. Now that you have a pretty good idea of how XML is structured and how an Android layout is going to be built, let's dive into the details so you can start crafting some really great layouts for your apps.